G'day everybody! G'day, g'day! Welcome back to another episode where we talk about windows. Oh, <laughs> ports! Yeah, if you are an easily triggered person or you don't like when people call um, portholes windows on a boat, this episode is definitely not for you. Do we call them windows? A few times. Ah. Just, well, <laughs> just wanted to warn everybody before we get a thousand comments of they're not windows their port lights or portholes we know guys we know but sometimes it slips out for those people that don't <laughs> understand what the port is people think you're going left or port and i don't understand because the, there's port lights and portholes on the port side of the boat but there's also some on the starboard side so mm. what do we call those ones sounds very confusing anyway before you get any further into Those it are the starboard lights on that side oh you know the drill guys like subscribe and uh keep those bad comments to yourself <laughs> you can tell us if you like it's fine tell us down in the comments that we shouldn't call our windows windows we don't mind we don't really mind at all and if you um thanks for being here let's go put in some new windows thoughts <laughs> Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Ready? Ready, 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 ready. Oh, that's a cool breeze coming in. It's sweater weather, Bella. Sweater weather. <laughs> I love that jumper on you, it's so beautiful. I don't like the neck part though. The colour? Oh my gosh. It just brings out my skin. It's so great on you. Hey there. Hey there. This is my side by the way, because you're no, doing this the- This is my side. <laughs> <laughs> because- It looks like I just need a little epoxy, a clean up and a little epoxy, that'd be good. Yeah. That'd clean up nice. It was all epoxy to all resin at one stage. You just need to rip it out as you're cleaning that up. I should be standing it while the windows are off. That's what I wanted to Outside, do. Inside. Last two windows. I mean, last two portholes. 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 Guess what? This one is going to be an opening one, so then you can throw stuff out. I know. How great is that? Thank you. Get to throw food scraps out the window from the kitchen. It's my dream. <laughs> Right, so those are the last two portholes. Our next window job is these windows up here, all through here. So they aren't too bad. This one here might be a bit of a challenge, and I think this one, one of these. These two have both got cracks in the aluminium cast thingamajigs. So yeah, that's it's gonna be great, but what's gonna be good is it's gonna look so good once they're replaced. So yeah, that's they're exciting. We, well, we're not replacing, we're just putting these back in. We just need to replace the purse back. I just put my phone in the water. Yeah, it's not waterproof. Now I need to go and scrape the outside of the window. Alright guys, well these are the ones we've chosen to replace our original port lights with. There's only two variations that are going to be different in this installation. They were originally all fixed. Um, four of the six will be fixed, but we've left two that will open up. This one is the bathroom and the kitchen, just for a bit of extra ventilation in the kitchen and a little bit of extra ventilation in the bathroom. So there will just pretty much be an extra two holes on two of the, or four extra holes on two of these. The other ports should just be the same. They're just plastic Vexen uh, port lights they're pretty cheap but it's what was in the boat so we're just gonna for ease of uh, in and out we'll just put some new Bexons in we've removed all the ones outside we're just gonna run some epoxy around all the seals and the bolt holes and oversize the bolt holes we'll re-drill them and then we'll install them we'll have some new ports
Right, so we've got one window in. This one is an opening window. We can close it and we can open it. And it's got a screen in it. I think uh, there are, next window they're on to is the one. So window is a porthole in Bella's room. Hello, Bella. Hello. Here he is outside, working his magic, getting it all completo. Oh, does that look nice now? Look out your window. You can actually see. You can see out the window. It was a little bit like it had snow on it before, didn't it? It's like frosted. Like frozen. <laughs> These ones are easier, are they? Yeah. Oh, that was a dry test. That was a dry fit, ladies and gentlemen. It's always easier. You work out whether you... We've actually got cap screws on the end, so I wanted to make sure they're the right length and the bolts are not too long. Everything thought... fits perfectly now, so it's going to fit even better once we put a bit of sealant on there. I'm a big fan of masking tape because it just makes cleaning up really easy. I thought you were finished the second one. I'm like, oh wow, these ones are way quicker. Oh, this one we've just started on about like five minutes ago. I know, that's why a lot quicker. I was like, this one's super fast. This is what goes on inside. Someone's inside, someone's outside. I just want my socks. And she's lost socks. She's just dropping her washing and realise that we've lost some socks. Your right foot or your left foot sock? Socks don't have their right. <laughs> Anyway, update on Taj is he has arrived at his hotel. So that was good. He ended up getting an Uber. We weren't sure how he was going to get from the bus station to his hotel, but he got an Uber. He walked to Macca's and got an Uber. What was that? Yeah, there is. There's a, I found all your socks. <laughs> <Get ready. laughs> Did you look? No, I remember seeing them. That's why I wasn't annoyed. Children. Anyway, one child is here. The other child is in LA. Hollywood, actually. Just left the hotel that I was staying at. Now, getting on the electric skateboard and heading to the conference. But first, I'm going to go grab some breakfast. So I just had this delicious little lunch at this cool little shop. Now I'm back off to the conference. Alright, so I thought the window was finished, but it's coming out again. <laughs> we like to do our test trials. We like here. to do things twice, everybody. Make sure it's measure once, cut twice. Is that what you well, said? You can no, start measure these once. Jobs, and if something doesn't fit, or a screw doesn't line up, or if there's a problem, it can take a lot longer than just a five minutes extra to dry fit it and uh, eliminate any problems before you fit. Going? She's going. She's bloody hot. Oh, you burnt. I'm burnt. Californian sun. California's hot. Look at your hat you brought out today. Thought that thing got left behind. <laughs> uh, I was getting a burnt neck. Yeah, I don't uh, think it's really doing that much. No, well, <laughs> already got the neck burnt, you know. <laughs> Wait till I get burnt, then put the hat on. Yeah, good one. <laughs> it's on your last one for the day? I'm on the last patch that I can install. Hey Bella, did you get another tube for me please? Um, and then I'm going to pull those out and epoxy the... Thank you. What? Yep. That girl. Lucky last. <laughs> Let's go see day. what he's done, hey? For the day. <sighs> this is a nice looking window. 
Look at them. And don't away there. <laughs> it looks like you're doing it. That color is your color, girl. Oh, you look good. All right, what's the morning's jobs? These windows are taking way longer than I thought, man. I thought you'd have these in yesterday. No, all good things come to those who wait. Anyway, I'm pulling off the rubber. I'll pull out this little grill. That's an open porthole. Yeah, Opening be... porthole, where is that one going? So we changed two. They were all fixed portholes. I would have liked some nice big stainless steel ones, but the price of all of our windows, probably the price of one stainless one. So we went with the plastic ones, and that was what was originally on the boat. So I'm sure they'll do the job quite fine. Uh, I'm just taking the screen, the rubber, and I'll take this clear off while we assemble it so we don't get all goo all over the place. And, oh, look, five minutes, we'll have this in. It's the bosses complaining things are taking too long. Gentlemen. The other reason I wanted opening port in the kitchen was so I can throw food scraps yes. out there. Not while we're in the marina, obviously. No, but when we're, we're out at sea. <laughs> when we're out at sea, I throw all the perishable things overboard so when i'm cooking it's super easy if it's just right there i've always dreamed of having a window right there yeah. now like i had a window right there and i was super jealous of that <laughs> makes it real easy so when i go to go spear fishing i just hop in the back of the boat and go to sarah's window and that's where all the fish are waiting um, drilling the uh outside plate it's optional you can either rely on your goo to hold have a plate on on the back or or you can uh, drill through like I'm doing so this is how the boat originally was so looks nicer without the screws it does but... look nicer without the bolts we'll have bolts through there but I just thought it's easy to put the bolts through it's how it was so that we don't actually lose our trims so I don't know it's how it was I'm just going how it was that's how the boat originally was. And you feel so, it feels more comfortable. Yeah. Could, <laughs> could be a little bit more stronger. I don't know. I actually like everything folded. I was actually on a, a friend's leopard in um, Penang and he leant on his window and it just fell out. And I said, he said, oh yeah, all leopards do this. He said, all the boats eventually let go. And I was like, wow, that's scary. And it wasn't long after that, uh, as COVID hit, there was another catamaran, I can't think of the name of it, but they were going to race back to New Zealand against the grain a little bit um, in their catamaran. And I think it was at the start of COVID, before it got real heavy, they just wanted to get out of uh, Asia. And they were coming down the outside of Sumatra and they went down a trough and they went into a wave and the pressure on the boat flexing popped their windows out. They didn't actually get hit by a wave, but the pressure popped and uh, they lost all their windows and then they're in a lot of trouble and had to do an emergency stop in Jakarta. But again, those windows weren't bolted in either. So I don't know if I'm a fan of just sticking windows in. So we're screwing them in, everybody. I sort of like <laughs> a fixing on everything. It sort of feels a little bit more secure. I don't know, just my opinion. I could be wrong. Glue could be okay. Glue could do the job in some boats, I suppose. Be right for a certain but if I, I, I just personally feel if you've got a mechanical fixing, it's it's not coming out through wave hitting it or the pressure. This boat that actually lost their windows, it was actually when they went down into a trough, their boat was so airtight it 
pushed and actually blew their windows out. Um, they were really surprised at how it all happened, but it happened, nevertheless. Anyway, I'll stop flapping my gums, ladies and gentlemen, and um, I'm going to have a cup of coffee, and I'm going to put our windows in. I've got two to go. It's a bit of a painful process. It's, uh, we've been sealing up all the window trims with epoxy, making sure they're sealed, so if the sealant does fail, water comes against an epoxy and not the core of the boat. We'll get those in and we'll start on these ones. Oh, more windows. <laughs> Never ending It'll windows. be great though once they're all done. That's the a next very, boat that's I a have, big I job. don't want any windows. Okay guys, another day, another job. So today my job is a little bit exciting. So what it is, is I am going to be sanding the rail. The outside, so the whole outside timber rail is um it needs to be sanded and like look all pretty because it's like all not great now so that's my job for today is sanding it and um yeah it's actually gonna be something where you can see because all of our jobs have been like in the engine or like doing tiny little things so you can't even tell that you've done so this one will make the boat look pretty pretty nice and nearly forgot definitely got to have some music while i'm sanding the rail keep myself entertained oh okay and we're outside now let's do the rail before and after got sander it's really all you need so let's get started So the first step is that you tape it first so that this doesn't happen. That was not from me by the way, that was from the last owner of the boat. So now we're taping it so that that doesn't wreck the job boat. So I've nearly finished one side, I'm all the way to the front. Let's go back to do, Val. <laughs> Don't try and lie to the camera. I halfway. have finished my job. Dad's it's not the even back. halfway, guys. She's trying to pull over your eyes. Stop, I just said I've met the front. technically a whole side just not the back but that's like over the water where I can't really reach I've done one side my arm is like really sore meanwhile the other child is here enjoying himself very much by the look of it Taj is at a biohacking health conference learning about new ways and technology to help optimize his health he loves all that stuff and is having a great time I thought it was going to be a lot easier. The outside was like really easy, but the hard part is like the inside of the rail. So like this part, not this part, this part, because the outside you can just go along, sand it super fast, but inside you've got to like hand sand some parts and like not hit the deck. It's really annoying, but um, it's finally finished. There's still a whole nother side, but I think I might do that tomorrow, maybe. It's getting a bit late. The sun is just starting to go down. So I'm gonna vacuum the deck, see how I'm going, and then, yeah. 
Well, I hope that wasn't too painful for you. Um, thanks for watching. We love each and every single one of you. We are still in the marina, but we are getting there, getting jobs done. We want to say a massive thank you to everybody who has either donated or bought something off our wish list or contributed to our GoFundMe. We're getting very, very, very close to getting off the dock. So a massive thank you to you. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, guys. You. I didn't add anything, I just well, talked to you. You just talked the whole lot <laughs> to uh, Babylon, but um, oh. I've got to get back to boat work, darling. You do. What are you doing sitting down? Uh, you pulled me over and put the camera in my <laughs> face, and, and I've got projects on my brain. So i got to right, keep guys. moving. Thanks again. We love you all, and massive shout out to our patrons. You guys make this possible. Bye.